Hello, everybody. Welcome back to this week's episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures on our YouTube channel. And today, Steve West and I are talking about one of the most epic North American big game animals to hunt, the mountain goat. As I mentioned earlier, everybody, Steve West will be joining us here shortly to provide his expertise on mountain goat hunting in general. That said, I want to focus on what I considered my favorite hunt in British Columbia. In my experience in the coastal mountains of Western British Columbia, I was amazed by the amount of mountain goats and how beautiful the terrain was. You want a mountain goat hunt, you're either gonna be riding horses deep into the wilderness and hunting out of tents or remote range cabins, uh, potentially backpacking into steep country, maybe hunting out of a small tent, or potentially you know, taking a boat like in coastal Alaska, we'll actually use a yacht sized boat, access really remote shorelines and mountainsides and then climb up from there to get to the goats. So really, mountain goat hunting could present you with a lot of different methods of transportation to get into an area, but in the end, especially when you're hunting with us, you're gonna be in a core mountain goat area. So either by land, horse, or sea, you're gonna be in the game. In this area, there are a lot of different lakes and even chains of lakes, and we used boats to get around initially to get to certain areas to hunt moose. Um, but specifically on this day, we were actually headed up to a, an outpost camp to stay overnight to, to target goats for the next couple of days. And on the way there, I just happened to have the binoculars up and was it was kind of glassing this, this mountain that we were going to, and I spotted a goat right away before we even got out of the boat. Took the boat to the other side of the lake, put the spotter up and then identified it was a billy and we all decided we'd go after him right then and there. You know, mountain goats are actually fairly tricky to judge, both in identifying uh, the sex and also the, the size of the goats. You know, for me, the first thing I look for in my binoculars are these big glands that are at the base of the horns on a male billy goat. Uh, nannies typically do not have any gland that's visible around the base of their horns. Uh, you know, there's some very rare instances of that, but if you look for those big swollen glands at the base of the horns, that's your first indication that it's a billy. And then I always like to look at it from like a nine inch standpoint, like a really good mountain goat is anything that's over nine inches with good mass. As we continued on, it definitely got more slick, more shale. And then once we got into the jagged cliffs, we knew we were getting really close to the goat. Look, it's no secret that mountain goats live in some of the most rugged and vertical terrain found anywhere in the world. There's a reason why they're called mountain goats. They're not rolling plains goats, these are mountain goats. I think when someone goes on a hunt, a lot of times they get it in their head that it's gonna be a lot higher than they think. Really, most mountain goat climbs require an elevation gain of anywhere from one to 2,000 feet. And there was a moment in time where everything stood still. I locked eyes onto the goat, and I just tried to slow my breathing down and make a clean, ethical shot. There we go, boys. Got him, boys. Second chance. When I think back on this western British Columbia coastal mountain hunt, I just remember when we got back to the boat, we all you know, the guides and myself and the camera crew were just laying on our backs and couldn't believe, you know, not only how tired we were, we were at that point, but, you know, what we had just accomplished. For me, the accomplishment or the reward is directly proportionate to the amount of effort, energy, and mental toughness that's put into the hunt. The tags are really easy to get, let's say in British Columbia. Once again, like our outfitters have allocations in the southern areas. And up north, there's not even a quota allocation for the outfitters to operate off of. And in most of the places in Alaska, it's either a really easy tag to draw 
or it's an over-the-counter tag for non-residents if they're hunting with an outfitter. So hunting with us and going on a mountain goat hunt is just a matter of planning your dates, getting your hunt booked, and we'll take care of getting the tag for you. Thank you everybody for watching today's YouTube video where Steve and I talk about mountain goat hunting. And if this is a hunt that you want to do for yourself or just have questions on it, please feel free to give either one of us a call at 1-800-303-1304. If you'd like to see more epic hunts like this, tune in to Steve's Outdoor Adventures on the Sportsman's Channel.